um, I'll be doing a what's in my binder video, binders video, or how I organize my binders. Um, I ha obviously this will be different for each class. Um, the first one I will be talking about is my reading binder, and this is a five star, one inch. Um, the first page I have some formal activities that my professor had us do back in like towards the beginning and then I have my syllabus which I can't show you for obvious reasons but I keep this in a sleeve protector at the front so it's, I have easy access to it um I cross off the weeks that we've done um, and yeah, right now we are, um, studying for the final, which is Monday at 10 o'clock. Yep, it's 10 to 1.50, or to, no, 10 to 11.50. Um, so I just keep it in a sheet protector in the front. Um, and then after that, I have like uh, oh goodness, I have a study plan. Um, and then I have some notebook paper. I have my one of my um, study guides. My professor will be giving us another one on Wednesday, I think Wednesday or Friday. I hope it's Wednesday. Um, and then I have it organized as homework, old homework, notes, review sheets, and quizzes, and new vocab. I don't know if you guys can see that, that clearly. And these ones have the pockets. Um, I just like these ones better. Um, but yeah, I keep everything. Like, I, I don't throw anything out because I'm afraid that it will be on the final and I don't have it. Um, the notes part has really helped me with the study guide for my reading final. And, um, and then I keep the old tests and study guides for the old tests, um, because I can look them over and see what I did wrong. And then I have some vocab, um, and it's also in a sheet protector. And then I have some more sheet protectors towards the back, um, because you never know when a page is going to rip, or part of the page that drives me crazy. Um, I use these reinforcements. I think they're from like Staples, or I don't know. I got them a while ago, and they're still going strong. Oh, I have to make Kmart. They're, these suckers are still going strong. Somewhere I have a, a like a use sort of a use up. Up, oh, this is a sheet, and as you can see, they have the little folds. But they saved my life. Um, which I know sounds a bit bizarre, but. Whatever. And then this is my Microsoft Office binder. I have my name and my class name and the teacher, all of the important things on this piece of paper. That's why it's flipped over. <laughs> and it's a one and one half inch. Um, so this is what it looks like. Obviously it's different from my last one. <coughs> um, in the pocket I have this trivia contest thing which is over. Um, and then I have some notes about the chapters and the, like, the objectives, the summaries, all of that. And then I have one of these quick study computer things. It's for PowerPoint, which we're doing until tomorrow. Today, oh, I don't know. And then, yeah, I have, I don't have them sectioned off by tabs, 
because they're different colors and that, that that's good enough for me um so in the beginning it's just like office 2010 and windows 7 chapter and then it's excel excel is green i have word which is blue um access is like sort of ready reddish orange i don't think ready is a like term and then powerpoint which is sort of a golden orange it's right there um we didn't do outlook um because there wasn't enough time and my professor doesn't know outlook that well so she decided you know what would the point of that be um but yeah um and then in the back I have some more notes that we took and worksheets um and then there's the office quick reference chapter um some notes and some papers that we did along with the program that we use which is SAM uh, I have, oh goodness, I, I don't really like Sam, but, I mean, there's some, what can I do about it? And then, um, yeah, obviously the class, the binder will differ for each class. Um, I'm not gonna, I, I won't, I wouldn't, like, have, um, a binder sub for, like, a history class and this be the same setup for like a science class because that really wouldn't be of great use I think. Um I know that everyone organizes their binders differently and uh so you're welcome to do it however you want to. Um I can't well at the at the end of the day like it just matters like how your teacher or professor wants it to be organized um because I know that teachers tend to want like things set up a certain way because I've had teachers who do that um yeah I hope you all have a wonderful day and um I'll talk to you later bye